what color neighborhood do you live in? <laughs> if you're watching this in the, you know, anywhere outside of New York City, you might be saying, what are you talking about? What color? What color is your neighborhood? Well, in New York City, there are colored neighborhoods. Their neighborhoods are, are, are color-coded. You either live in a white neighborhood, you live in a black neighborhood, you live in a multiracial neighborhood, a Jewish neighborhood, a Muslim neighborhood. <laughs> so, what the hell am I talking about? Walking down a little street here in, in Brooklyn. Ah, so I want to talk about Anthony Pantelio. What does that have to do with the color of your neighborhood? Well, a lot, actually. So Anthony Pantelio, right? He's the, um, I'm not Anthony, I'm sorry, Daniel. <laughs> Daniel Pantelio is the cop that uh, choked, choked. You remember Eric Gardner, I Can't Breathe, Eric Gardner fame, I Can't Breathe, Lucy Salesman in Staten Island. He's on the corner selling Lucy cigarettes. Cops tell him, take off, get out of here. He says, fuck you, leave me alone. So they, they wait, and they wait to arrest him, right? They're waiting for the sergeants to pop up. They're like, they gave him a chance to get out. He said no. They said, okay, well, we'll you're going to get arrested. They wait for their supervisor to come to make the arrest, right? And you know what's coming. You know what's coming in NYPD. That's what they do. They're just two cops. They flank you on both sides. Now you're not getting away. We gave you your chance to get away. Now you're not getting away. And what they do? Sergeants came, gave them the go-ahead. There's now five, six cops, seven cops, ten cops, all different colors, shapes, and sizes, women cops, black cops, Chinese cops, everybody, all the fucking cops. And what do they do? They take the guy down. The guy resists arrest. He's 330 pounds. He's out of shape. Right? He's got a heart heart problem. He's 6'3". He's bigger than all the two the two cops that, that executed the takedown. And what happens? They choke him. Guy, the guy's like, you know, they're on his neck. And, and the cop said, well, you know, you watch the video. You could watch the video. I've watched the video 500 times of the Eric Garner takedown. Now, what, what, side of the, what side of the fence am I on? Is it a black or white issue that I'm talking about? Not to me it isn't. To me, it's a, a, an issue of good policing and bad policing. But if you live in a black neighborhood in New York City, that shit is all about black. Black. Black rights. Another black man dies. But what about the, what about the, 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 the underlying principle of the police showed up. You were selling, you were selling something, Lucy cigarettes, tax-free cigarettes or whatever in front of a bodega that sells cigarettes. So you were undermining the business, the business guy, the business guy inside the store who sells cigarettes for a living, who pays taxes and has a storefront. You're selling Lucy cigarettes, loose, one cigarette for 50 cents or whatever it is, outside his store. And the guy complains. Guy calls the police, says, hey, this guy's selling fucking Lucy cigarettes outside of my store, get rid of him. And the police come and say, get out of here, right? He's, a mul he's already a, a um, he's been convicted already for that. He's been arrested for selling Lucy cigarettes. They, the cops know who he is. And they give, him, they give him a way out. They say, get out of here, go. Go and you'll be okay. And he decides, he decides, no, man, no, man, leave me alone, man. Yo, man, it's because I'm black. Leave me alone, man, I'm because I'm black. If I were white. If I were white, you'd let me sell cigarettes right here, right? That's what it is, right? And so, so the police take them down. And they, you know, and we saw it. Like, you know, is it, is it good policing to tackle, you know, a 350 plus pound guy who's clearly out of shape, complaining he can't breathe, and 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 force his arms behind his back, smudge his face into the ground, and you know, and take him down with a chokehold, you know, hold his, hold his throat for, you know, 10, 15, 20 seconds or whatever it was, a minute. No. It, it isn't, it isn't, it isn't good policing, but what did you expect? What else, what, what's the alternative? The police show up, 
They give you a chance to go away. You resist. You refuse. And then they say, okay, put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. And he says, no. Now what? It's resisting arrest. You're, you're escalating. You're escalating the problem. The guy was too stupid for his own good. And he died because of his stupidity. And that is the case of Eric Garner. I mean, I know people want to believe, oh, no justice for Eric Garner. I went to, I, I know the spot where he died in Staten Island. I've actually reported from that spot. Right in front of the Lucy store. I know where it is. You know, it's, it's a, um, it's across the street from a welfare center and a methadone clinic. And, you know, and, and, and that's a very common thing. People sell Lucy cigarettes out front. So what was the outcome of that situation? Now, the black community wanted him arrested, wanted Pantelio indicted for murder. And the DA failed to indict on murder charges. And William Barr recently said, absolutely no way it was a murder. So they lost, this is five years ago now. So what is the news? Well, the news is that for five years, the Garner family in conjunction with Bill de Blasio. <laughs> now, the family also, just for, for a, a note, the, the family won a civil suit against the city of New York for five and a half million dollars. And that was, that went to Erica Gardner, Eric Gardner's daughter, who died of a crack overdose or died of a fucking brain hemorrhage or whatever the fuck she died of. She, once she had that money, she died. <laughs> You gave somebody $5 million. They don't know what they're doing. They're in the ghetto with the crackheads. I don't, I don't know if that's true, but it definitely is suspicious that she suddenly died. Maybe she got whacked. Maybe the uh, lawyers that handled the money killed her. I don't know. But, but in, in any event, right, so, so Bill de Blasio gives the family uh, $5 million, and the police and the... All the all the all of the police agencies they were irate about that. How dare you? How dare you turn your back on the police like that? How dare you, Bill de Blasio? Bill de Blasio escalated that civil case and awarded monies to the Garner family. Right? And now five years later, the family is fighting to have see once once the DA fails to indict. The, the, next, the only thing could be um, uh, uh, to jeopardize his job. In other words, he's an NYPD cop. He was put on desk duty. He wasn't a cop running around the street after that. They put him on desk duty. So what the family and the black activists in the black neighborhood want to do is... is uh, this is what a white neighborhood looks like, by the way. <laughs> it's early in the morning, so you don't see the white people. <laughs> But what they wanted to do is they wanted to get him fired. Uh, they wanted to get him removed from the police force. That's about the best they were going to get. They got their five and a half million dollars, and they wanted to see him removed from the police force. So what is the outcome of that? It, it is true that an administrative review board judge recommended this week, yesterday, or two days ago, Pantelio be fired over the 2014 death of Eric Gardner. So that's confirmed. A administrative law judge, it went through the process that NYPD drives their shit through. And it was decided that Pantelio would be fired. It would, it, it's, it's a recommendation. It's not the judge can't fire a cop. The judge makes a recommendation. And then police commissioner James O'Neill will review the final report and decide if he will follow through with termination orders. Pantelio could also choose to resign before the commissioner rules. That's pretty interesting. You might see that in the next two weeks. Why? Bill de Blasio. Bill de Blasio got heckled at the, at the Democratic um, uh, debate the other night over the Pantelio story. They were blaming Bill de Blasio didn't fire the guy. Bill de Blasio can't fire a cop. Bill de Blasio could recommend and then the judge decides and then ultimately the commissioner who Bill de Blasio appoint, appointed 
right? The commissioner works directly with de Blasio. So James O'Neill can, they can, they can say James O'Neill is going to, is going to uh, decide independently of de Blasio, but that's not the truth. The fact is, Bill, Bill de Blasio is out running for president, and if he allows O'Neill to let that guy sit as a cop, in, in light of the fact that a judge has recommended that he be fired, all hell will break loose again. <laughs> and the blacks will be irate. And they will cry racism. See, it's a white cop getting away with murder. Another black man has been murdered. Murdered on the streets. But all that, all that murder talk, it just, it just seems to uh, ignore the, the, the more fundamental issue of a bad... Bad policing versus murdering of a black man. And also, it, it, it fails to even acknowledge one iota of the fact that the guy was given a, a, a way out. Now, should a man have died for selling loose cigarettes on the street? Absolutely not. It's a tragedy. It's a, it's a, it's a perfect storm of stupidity. In, in terms of the guy's stupidity protecting himself from what he knows is coming as a New Yorker from NYPD when you tell him go fuck yourself, right? It's that, and it's the police's inability to police in a, they could have thrown a net over him. I always said that. Uh, why, why, didn't the, why did the police have to wrestle him to the ground? Why couldn't they have taken a, 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 like a net or wait till five guys are there? Why did they have to, you know, why do you tackle the guy? Just, it was excessive force in my view, you know, and, and, but nonetheless, I mean, they could have tased him, and that could have killed him, too, because he's a big fat guy. That probably would have been better, right? Lightly tase him and knock him down. They could have done that, too. Right? Wait for, the, wait for a cop to show up. Maybe they didn't have a taser with them. Wait for the cop. There was other ways to handle it. Nonetheless, the guy, the, Eric Garner made the fundamental error of not stepping off when the police gave him his way out. They don't report that in the news. That's one of the things that the news fails to report is they fail to tell you that Garner, they, the police gave him a way out and he, he failed to take it. Right? And uh, they, don't tell, they don't talk about that, but they did. They gave him his, his way out and he failed to take it. And then when they said, okay, well, you're under arrest, put your hands behind your back, he said, fuck you, and that's when... It escalated, and, and 10 minutes later, he was dead on the floor. Uh, so that's the story of Eric Gardner reporting from the white neighborhood in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, <laughs> broadcasting to, to the blacks all around the world and white people that are interested in the story. It is a tragic, it is a tragic event. I don't want to make light of the, the tragedy of a, of a stupid man dying on the street because he doesn't know how to interact with police. Because he's too proud. Proud black. I'm proud. I'm black. Fuck you, white cop. Didn't work out. Cops just cops just happened to be just happened to be white that showed up. But certainly if you watch the video, all the cops surrounding the scene, there was a black woman, there was there was, you know, big, you know, big ass cops. That's what they are. They don't they're colorblind, they don't care. Black cop would have tackled them just as fast, right? So is Pantel is is the decision to let's just in in finality is the decision to fire uh, Daniel Pantelio the cop that choked Eric Gardner legitimate is that is that a, is that a good decision by the NYPD uh, the the city of New York I don't think so I I fundamentally disagree with that decision I think that. That the that he was he did his job, and it went it, it didn't it was a rough situation because of the size of the guy, the guy resisting arrest, the the other police around him, the whole situation got out of hand. And rather than blame the guy, the the police officer, blame the police themselves for allowing something like that to happen because that is the protocol. The police say, we're going to arrest this guy. They call it in. This guy's resisting arrest. 
They wait for backup. They wait for a sergeant to give the go-ahead to arrest. And then they move in and they do it. So they follow protocol. Pontelio and the other guy, the guy on the other, the, the, the guy that was on uh, uh, in front of Eric Garner. Pantelio came from behind and the guy was in front. So I don't think that, I think that the decision to, to um, fire Pantelio is purely political and it has to do with Bill de Blasio running for president and the very, very strong, influential black lobby uh, of which Black Lives Matter arguably evolved from this case. It's very, it's a very important case in in racist history where black lives matter is the, the, one of the foundational cases is this one the eric gardner i can't breathe i can't breathe case so i don't know we'll see in two weeks what do i think will happen i i, I have a feeling that uh pantelio will probably resign and he probably should resign write a book talk about it now you're not a cop anymore Talk about your story. Sell your story for, I don't know, half a million, right? Somebody, will, they'll buy a story, you know? Major publisher will buy a story. He'll do, he'll do a book. <laughs> That's what I would recommend. Hey, Daniel, Pantelio, how you doing? Daniel, hey, Daniel from Staten Island, how you doing? Listen, man, listen. Ch- check this shit out, man. Conti's telling you what to do. Fucking resign, man. Don't want to be no cop anymore. Fuck that shit. Pack it in, man. Pack it in. Why do you want to? Why do you want to do that kind of work anymore? Fucking pack it in. Write a book. Look me up. I'll give you some space on on YouTube. I'll give you some space. I want to hear your story. A lot of people want to hear your story. They never heard your story because of the you know the gag orders, uh, NYPD uh, gag orders. To you're not allowed to talk. You're not allowed to say anything as a cop. The the. The the the, uh, the press department speaks for you. Marcus Conti reporting.